Hello everyone, my name is Prism Skywalker, and welcome to another episode of Ohanacraft Sky Factory. Today, we will be exploring the Twilight Forest, specifically to find the Twilight Lich. Now, Twilight Forest has multiple bosses, and the bosses have a criteria to how you are meant to face them. There's all these different advancements. And you can see right here, we've killed the Naga, and now it's time to go and kill the Twilight Lich. And we need to obtain all of these items to completely complete the quest. Now, we also could go looking for a questing ram and make a magic map and all that. I think we're just gonna fly around for a bit and see if we can find one. But if I can't find one, then we'll go back and I'll gather up some resources. So let's go off on our journey. Did we just find another Twilight Naga? That would be great if we did. We could always use more scales, but I'm kind of on the look for, a uh, yeah, the Lich. But, I mean, I'm not going to pass down on a boss fight, you know? Let's see what we got here. Let's see. I, so far, I don't think there's anything, but it might just be loading in. Okay. Oh, no, yep, um, hmm. All right, let's do this. There we go. Oh, that felt good. All right, Naga, come here. There we go, okay. Ouch. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Okay, come here, you big snake. Come here. You're just a giant snake. Ow. You're a vicious one of that. Come here. Okay, there we go. And we got more Naga scales, and we can make armor with that. Maybe I should go back. Maybe that might be a good idea to uh, go back and grab some resources. I don't know, I kind of want to look and see what's out here and then maybe head back. But, uh, yeah, we did we did kill another Naga. That was a pretty quick fight. Ow, you see? That's why you don't go in acid rain, because you, you take damage. And when you take damage, that's a very bad thing. Did I just find another Naga? I guess we're going to have another Naga fight, guys. Man, they are common. Why did it take us so long last time? Eh, guess this needed to go a different direction. Over the wall, and I want to fight you. Oh, this is a very fun fight already. Okay, can I actually strike the thing? Oh boy. Oh boy. Snakes, why do it have to be snakes? Uh, do do come here. Oh! Oh! Wait, could I have hit it? Because it did that? Okay. Nope, I'm dead. I'm dead if I'm not careful. Okay. Ha ha ha! It just did a 360 over the bush. This episode, like, in a specific order. I thought I'd just go straight for the Lich, but I'm kind of regretting- Oh, no. Alright, so we got the big snake. We're gonna go take it down. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna jump down here. Come on, snake. Gonna dodge. Oh, no. Come on. Ah. Vicious snake. Ah. Oh, boy. Ah. 
Come on. Just keep taking hits. Come on. Yes! Alright. Where'd our loot go? <laughs> our Naga Trophy. Let's get my items back. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, all is right and good with the world. You know, I was a little worried I wouldn't get my stuff back, but, you know, I did it. Alright, so I had a bright idea. I have all this gold. I have all this gold. And I was wondering, what am I going to do with this? And I first thought, well, just make some golden apples, you know? with eight gold around the middle and an apple. But then I thought to myself, what if this mod pack has a special recipe for the enchanted golden apple? Cause a previous mod pack I had played had a custom recipe. And wouldn't you know it, the developers put back in the enchanted golden apple recipe. One apple, eight gold blocks. And now I'm smelting all this gold, every single last bit of gold that we have and I'm going to make a ton of golden apples enchanted not enchanted whatever the case may be but if we can make it we're gonna do it because you know what I'm not settling for failing I'm gonna win this fight and if I fail it you know what I'll go back and do it again but I'm gonna just take all this and we're gonna make two of our very own enchanted golden apples Oh yeah, we have these. So what I'm about to make is a blank maze map. I believe that's what it's called, and it requires this. And using this uh, magic map focus and this blank magic map, I can go and find the bosses of the Twilight Forest. I did want to show you this. This is how you repair your tinker's tools. You take the base material ingredient, Combine it with the tool, and you got this. Alright, and we're off to the Twilight Forest. And I've got this magic map. And I want to see what it says. Okay. So, what does this mean? I assume if we just go in a direction... Let's just go this direction, because why not? Oh, there it is. Oh. Well, that's, uh, that's what we need. We found the ditch tower. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Alright, so a few things I should tell you before we start this boss fight. One, it is ridiculously, stupidly hard. Uh, what we're basically going to do in order to protect us is have a strength potion and enchanted golden apples. There are lich, uh, illusions, basically, that can be summoned by the lich and what they will do is they will basically try to distract you. Now, your goal in this boss fight is to hit back the Ender Pearls to the real Lich's shield. Now, for record's sake, we're just going to have a, uh, a Waystone here. We're going to give it a nice yellow color. And then we're going to proceed to probably kill ourselves, if we're being honest. But we're going to drink this, drink this, go in here, and just fight this thing. So, how are we going to fight it? Just hit its shields back. That's all we got to do. Like this. Come on. Got it. Nope, I did. Ah! No! 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 What? Why is it resistant? Oh, there we go. Okay. Take this on. Yes! Got it! Ah! Getting a little too cocky here. A little overconfident. Alright. Ow! That's not what I like. No, I think it's time for the other apple.
Oh no. Yes! No! Ah, dang it. Come on. How do I only have one apple left? No! I will not fall to the Lich's spell. Yes! Come on. Yes! Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh, let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Come here! Ha ha ha! Oh boy. Oh, if I play my cards wrong, I'm dead. Oh. My. Go what? Okay, we're back. We're gonna do this. We got one mission. Kill that thing. Do it in whatever way possible. Come on. Come on. Face me. Ah. Got it. Yes. Oh, that feels good. I got it. I got the Twilight Lich. Killed the dang thing at least. Oh, this is where you were. <laughs> oh, this feels great. Why are you not? There we go. Oh, whoops. Oh, that feels good. Uh, all right, my friends, we did it. We have defeated the Twilight Lich from Twilight Forest. Let's take a look at all we've done today. Well, in general, when it comes to this wonderful place. So, Twilight Forest obviously defeated the Naga, or the Hedge Maze, got a map, got the Silence of the Forest, so the Raven Feather, uh, made the Magic Map focus, for some reason it didn't count that, but whatever. Uh, here we go though. Time to even the scales for defeating the Naga, and then bring out your dead for defeating the Twilight Lich at the top of his tower to retrieve a scepter to clear the poisonous mosquitoes from the swamps. See through the blinding darkness of the dark roof forest curse and resist the chill of the snowy forest. Next time we're in Twilight, we'll be looking to get the mighty Strogoth in order to defeat the highly anticipated Hydra and be worthy to enter its fiery domain. And with that, my friends, we end today's adventurous episode. Thank you guys all for watching. Next time, we'll either be looking again to the Forest of Twilight or to the end of the Void. See you all next time.